Hi there. Thanks for clicking on the Akron News Now update today. I'm Lindsay McCoy. A fallen Marine who is also a Revere High School grad will get a motorcycle escort when his body arrives back home today. Plans for Marine Gunnery Sergeant Robert Gilbert's arrival at Cleveland Hopkins Airport are scheduled for today. Visiting hours will be held on Saturday, March 27th from 2 until 8 o'clock in the evening, and his funeral will take place on Sunday. Gilbert was shot in the head during an ambush at around March 8th in Afghanistan during his fifth tour of duty overseas. Tea Party groups in Ohio say they want to amend the state constitution to block President Obama's health care overhaul from taking effect. 25 groups led by the Ohio Liberty Council said Monday that they want to protect Ohioans from financial burdens and individual mandates contained in the bill. They are drafting a proposed constitutional amendment and they would have to file more than 400,000 valid signatures by June 30th to get this issue on the November ballot. The 50-year-old man accused of murdering a local Iraqi war veteran last week was arraigned via video in Akron Municipal Court Monday morning. Court officials say 50-year-old Ephraim Johnson is being held on $1 million cash bond in the Summit County Jail. Johnson is said to be the trigger man behind the fatal shooting of Jacob Curry on St. Patrick's Day after an argument near the University of Akron's campus. And prosecutors say the psychiatric exam of a suspected Cleveland serial killer, Anthony Soule, is public record. Assistant County Prosecutor Richard Bombick said Monday that the evaluation of Anthony Soule was submitted as evidence and the public has a right to know about it. Now, Soul has pleaded not guilty to the killings of 11 women whose remains were found in and around his Cleveland home. Soul's lawyers maintain that releasing the report will make it tough for him to get a fair trial. To solve crimes, DNA is often used to crack cold cases, and a new grant could help pay for those investigations. Ward 10 Akron City Councilwoman Kelly Crawford explains. This is an opportunity for the mayor to file a grant application with the National Institute of Justice for $282,000. Um, that money is specifically used for overtime for police officers to look into cold case files. Um, that includes uh, the Summit County Cold Case Task Force, not just Akron. Um, Akron's going to lead the charge. And new wildlife exhibits are on display inside the revamped F.A. Cyberling Nature Realm. After 15 months of construction, the renovations at the Metro Parks Visiting Center are finally finished. It was gutted from the inside out. The SA Cyberling Nature Realm has a new look with wildlife exhibits, a place to host campfires, and a beautiful landscape. Green features like solar panels and LED lighting and some reused exhibit pieces are a part of the renovation and there's more. We've, we've added some green features here, uh, energy efficient heating and cooling. They're outside, there are rain barrels and rain chains so we can collect the rainwater to wash equipment to water the native plants we have. Admission is free and most programs offered at the Metro Parks Visiting Center are almost all free of charge. Some exhibits are old and some are new as the Nature Realm highlights the local park district's natural and cultural history. We really want people to come inside, learn about nature, and then go out and explore the outdoors. As we take a look at our local forecast today, we'll keep the showers around for a little longer today, but then expect to take a break. We'll dry up tomorrow. A high of 45 degrees today. Scattered showers are likely a low of 33. Wednesday, we're back up to 53 degrees, and we'll have mostly sunny skies. As we look at our five-day forecast, we'll stay in the 50s for Thursday. We give a slight chance for rain. On Friday, a high of 42, and it looks like we have a chance for snow, although it is still slight, but a low of 26 degrees. Saturday, we're back with the sunshine, so we'll have a nice weekend with a high of 52 degrees. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news for news online on demand now. And don't forget, you can always check our latest news updates on Facebook and Twitter, too. For AkronNewsNow.com, I'm Lindsay McCoy.